Lieve Lanneke. I was uh, 12 when I heard a friend saying that I should become a model because then I could make some money. I wasn't really thinking about what it meant. I just went to a model agency. I actually called them up first, said, hi, I'm Lanneke Engel, I want to be a model. And when can I come in? And they said, yeah, we have a op like an open day where models can come in or young people and we'll see if you're suitable. So me and my sister went after school and we um, were not, we were dirty and all these kids were like all clean and the parents really wanted them to be a model and we were just like, we'll try, maybe we can make some extra money. Because uh, our parents were always like, if you want something, you should work for it yourself. And so we went and they were very excited and I didn't understand, but my sister actually, I did all the effort and she got the first job. So I was like, okay. But then I think I made up for it. I worked uh, a little bit. I worked a little bit around the, in the area in Holland as a children's model. Then a scout from a French agency came, Pauline's. And she thought, well, you, you are photogenic. I want to take some pictures of you. So she did. and send it back to my agency to the agency in Paris and she the owner was really exciting excited so I had to come to Paris then she showed those pictures to Bruce Weber and she was so happy like oh this girl is amazing you have to see her and Bruce Weber usually never sees wants to see a girl first before he shoots her so um, it was quite uh, different that he wanted to book me for Abercrombie and Fitch when I was 13 years old and I'd never been to America and he's never seen me in real life. So I did that and after that he's booked me so many times and really made my career. He really started it. Booked me for Eric Romeo Fitch, introduced me to Ralph Lauren. The rest is history. When I started my first shoot, it was not even scary that it was my first real modeling shoot. It was also that I never had taken a plane anywhere. I'd never flown before. So that was the first time actually going on a plane and flying somewhere. So, and also the whole experience of being with all those models in one apartment, um, not an apartment, but like apartment building and, every, and, and driving in a car with so many people who didn't know. Thank God I had a chaperone with me at that time because it was quite scary. But being in front of the camera came naturally to me and it was very easy and Bruce was so e very calming and yeah, he really made me at ease in front of the camera. So I couldn't have had a better start, really. Well, when I was 15, I basically just got booked by Bruce Weber for Ralph Lauren. So I did a shoot that was actually for clothing that normally is for older women, like Lauren. Um, so I was wearing all like a chic suit and I was very dressed up. It was very different for me uh, being 15 years old and wearing this kind of clothes, but Ralph really liked me. So he started following me, booking me for other things. And then uh, in 2000, he gave me an exclusive contract. So I really um, only worked for Ralph Lauren since then and I still work for him, so. But he's an amazing man and he enjoys um, keeping his image. Whatever is going on, whatever crisis, Ralph Lauren will always keep his image the same. That's why he keeps bringing it back to the same uh, faces and same models, I think. Yeah, the whole family actually is really, very, very sweet. And I've always felt very comfortable doing it. Well, when I started, as I said, I was 13 and in those days that was a normal age to start. Right now, really 16 is when girls start. I basically met Carl Lagerfeld, Linda Evangelista, Cindy Crawford, Kate Moss, like basically my first day of working. So right away I was thrown into the top of the top, the uh, models, designers. And for me, I was just quiet looking around. It was so amazing. 
all the big models, supermodels of that era were, wa were walking in the show. It was uh, 1995 and it was for Chanel. Very iconic Chanel show, I think, because it's a time where they had those mini bikinis. Stella Tennant wore those really small Chanel bikinis and only covering the nipple. And I think Cindy Crawford or Claudia, Sch no, Cindy Crawford fell and it was like jeans. And I could walk hand in hand with Kate Moss. And she's still one of my favorites because all, during all those years, she's been around doing whatever, what she does best. And I was uh, very happy that I didn't know how to walk. She grabbed my hand, we walked down the stage. She told me, turn now. Like she was really teaching me how to walk on the, on the stage. So you can say that I learned everything you need to know about fashion and shows from the biggest people in the industry. And I'm very grateful for that because that start gave me a lot of confidence during the years. Uh, in those days, there were a few models that were really big. Uh, my favorite was Helena Christensen and Mila Jovovic. Maybe they always say that you always are attracted to people that have like kind of the same look like dark hair, blue eyes, but I just wanted to, you know, I was really amazed by how beautiful and how graceful they were. Also, uh, a Dutch icon is Karen Mulder. I hope she, I don't know where she is these days. All the big supermodels coming back, I haven't seen her yet, but I hope uh, she's doing well. She was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, she was Dutch and she was so beautiful. She was the opposite of me. She was like blonde and really tall. Yeah, I met them all during the first years. And now at that time when I was 13, 14, 15, I didn't understand what I was doing. I was doing editorials. I didn't understand why I had to change clothes every set. I didn't understand why they didn't fit me. And now I'm like, whoa, 16 page for Italian Vogue, please, I want to do that. And, and when I did them, when I was 14, 15, 16, I just didn't understand it, what it was, what it meant. But uh, I did it now and I'm like, well, I'm pretty proud that I did, but I just realized it now and not 10 years before. I think girls should really always look at themselves and everybody has like one quality that they're, or one thing they're really good at and they should embrace that. I mean, I'm good at certain things, but I'm also really bad at other things and everybody has the same thing. And the people that are in the, in the, in the magazines, they all have the best makeup artist, the best hairdresser. And for me, experiencing that, it's really nice. Really, I really enjoy being taken care of my hair, my makeup. I mean, yeah, I'm a girl, so I like those things. But um, I, yeah, I wish every girl could go or experience that one time because it's just really nice. I hate ignorance with the in people. Like people just don't seeing what they're doing or behaving weird or like. For instance, when they, you know, mistreat an animal, I really, I just don't understand people and I really hate it. I hate it when my, my biggest thing I hate about people is when in my neighbor they crack their knuckles and stuff or like bones and it's like, ugh, that sound alone is like gross and they don't understand that I hate it, but it's, please do it somewhere else. Bye-bye.